Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our first official affiliate stream. Oh, my God. It feels like it took 25 years to do it, but we finally did it. How's everybody? Here. Present. I don't know. Good. Good, good, good. Alive. Wow, you guys are lively. <laughs> <laughs> I'm producing. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have a new cast member to kick off our affiliate streams. Someone to keep things in line? Oh my god. No. You know, her, you, you know her from Pathfinder. She's that annoying little goblin. Zeldu. He's <laughs> playing a character on Cyberpunk, so this should go really, really well. She's gonna do great. Why so don't we, you we, say we, hi. We, we've got Niz Direction. Now we've got Niz Chaos. <laughs> well, they should know that by watching, you know, <laughs> any show or listening to any show that we've ever done. So. Um, so I'm should, no. Arky, or yeah. Kirk, or fuck you, or whoever you want to call me. And I'm playing Red Eye. I'm Jason. Known as Jason, and also Jason. And I'm playing Cavalry Navarro, also known as Boy Scout. <laughs> I am I know Shannon, where everybody's placed. or Ms. <laughs> Direction, and I'm playing Zara, who is slowly getting so many cybernetics, she's not really human anymore. And I... Uh, wrong way? I fuck it, just introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to point at everybody, and it's... I can't get it right. <laughs> Well, it's different on Discord than it is on Twitch. I know. I'm watching it on Twitch right now, and I'm like, I look like a fucking moron. <laughs> Thank you for All trying. Right, well, yes. Um, Allison, I am playing uh, Jinx Spark. What was that? I said, my name is Allison, and I am playing Jinx Spark. Can you hear me on this? Yeah, we're oh, I can hear it. I just feedback. Yeah, As I said, little, Jinx, little like in J I N X. Yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. She she's picked my, out a free my... and renamed it, which is exactly what I asked her to do. <laughs> she's she's my right a, right hand partner in crime. <laughs> So it's Calvary's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there he is. Oh, by the way, hi. I'm Scott. I go by Cyberpunk. Uh, I'm the guest game master for running Cyberpunk Red. And uh, last time we started on the... Uh, adventure module titled A Night at the Opera. And tonight, uh, this is going to be a uh, short session, as which is better for streaming, and we may or may not complete uh, that adventure. It'll be a four shot. If we we're lucky. We probably won't. <laughs> Uh, we yeah, got yeah, Allison yeah. now, so it probably oh, won't. It might be a 12 but shot. I keep things online. I keep things on track. Sort of. Speaking <laughs> of which, uh, welcoming a Jinx to the game, uh, something that we did not do uh, last week, um, or whenever it was we got together and held that session zero, is that is something that I was uh, saving for the stream because there is some another aspect to your character that's not on the character sheet yet and that is your backstory would you like to roll for that sure 
Get D6s a and D10s. Six. Yeah. D six siders. Six siders. Yeah. All right. So what do I roll? I get a D6 and a D10. Or multiple D6s. Oh, yeah. He'll Thank let you know. You. All right. First, let's find out what type of tech you are. And uh, you don't have to stick with this result. But if you would like to roll a D10... Uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about Jinx. Six. Jinx is a crazy inventor. What? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> As a specialist. Yep, in some field or another. So yeah, that fits. That's gonna help uh, Red Eye out. <laughs> what is her workspace like? Roll me a six-sider. Three. Three. Totally digital and obsessively backed up every day. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a uh, simple choice between one or two. Uh, do you work with a partner or do you work alone? Alone. Alone. Very well. Oh, I do have a partner. My and... partner's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> and I That's firmly talk to the cat and put my cat as a co-author on everything. <laughs> and his signature is his paw print. So we right. talked about this in the session zero. I want that one where you were going to make me have to walk through porta potties in cyberspace. <laughs> I want that for a port on my my cyber deck, so I, I can, can put net run opposing net runners. And they just keep walking in, going through porta potty after porta potty after porta potty, and they can never get out. Except for if, the, if they decide to flush themselves. That's how they have to get out. Is they have to flush themselves. It's just tough because you can't yeah. flush in a porta potty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of feasible. <laughs> Allison, I want to know who your main clients are. Please roll me a six-sider. Six this is info that I could actually use as a GM. <laughs> Four. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Local solos, who are mercenaries, or other combat types who use you for weapon upkeep. Mm, that'll Bombs? come in handy for with for Zara. That'll come in handy for Zara, and it'll come in handy with me getting ah. shit invented. I get to I get to make the bombs, right? Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the character sheet, you get uh, that particular pregen gets uh, points put into the science skill, and you get to. Um, Specify what your science skill is. I think that for you, I wrote down uh, chemistry. Might okay. have been pyrotechnic, but I think it was chemistry. Okay. So we remember. We're all over that. Uh, where do you get your supplies? This one is fun. Roll me a six-sider. Techs do need parts and raw materials. Four. What you got? Four. Ooh. Corporate execs. Supply you with stuff in exchange for your services. You're a corpo? So you yeah, she's got connections with the corpos. <laughs> that could come in handy. We can scam them for I, more yeah. money. I I say, yeah, last, like rip them off. <laughs> and lastly, this is where the bad news comes in. Huh? Who has a beef with you? Roll me a six cider. Please not me. Not, re not Red Eye. <laughs> Just a second, it dropped on the floor. That sounded like a good roll. Cut! Three. Three. Oh, Three. this fit. The, who is done for you? Corporates who want you to work for them exclusively. Oh. We got the same, we got the same enemies. <laughs> That's a good backstory. So, uh, keep as much or as little of that as you like. But at the moment, 
um, you're uh, working kind of on the down low because these corporate these corpos are looking for you mm -hmm. and would like to uh, chain you to a nice workbench at uh, some comp at some company facility. So hmm. you are hanging out um, in the back room of a gang hideout, and that gang is the Maelstrom Gang. They have Maelstrom? a lot of hardware. Yes. Okay. Luke, Maelstrom thank you for the sub, that. buddy. And Sonia. Oh, we got sub? Groovy. Hey, uh, Maelstrom. Luke? Hi, Umbrella. Uh, okay, let's go. If you... You get to designate one role that any player makes tonight, and um, that player can uh, roll the dice twice and choose the more advantageous roll. It's a mechanic that doesn't otherwise exist in this game. But you have the power. Gotcha. By the way, the Maelstrom gang, I'm assuming they wear mouse hats a lot. Tails. <laughs> Maelstrom like a storm. And uh, uh, we'll say that one of them does wear Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> but, but he's a little cyber psycho that you don't know about. You don't know so much about them. These guys have a lot, really like hardware. They like their guns and they like uh, installing hardware in themselves. Their signature gang look is to remove a part of their face and replace it with a uh, sensor Hold on, array. Scott. Hold on, Scott. Thank it you for is. the subscription, Sonia. We appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't see that you subscribed. Right, so they're kind of like Terminator after he got whacked in the face? Yes. Okay. Um, if you've got the, uh, Discord, uh, server handy, I did post a, uh, like a group photo of, uh, Maelstrom gang members in the Cyberpunk channel. Got so many Discords gotcha. now. There we go. Hey, they look sane. Yeah, it's those guys who have, who all have red eyes. Kind of figured. That's right. I remember <laughs> them. I remember yeah. them now. And there are a few knuckleheads who are uh, currently standing outside the gang hideout, uh, waiting for the Maelstrom members to come out and speak to them. Which is probably a bad idea. Wait a second, we're those knuckleheads, aren't we? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad somebody said it. I was going to say, I'm assuming I'm still in the back room. <laughs> uh, that's where you've been, because you're laying low, and that's how I got everybody together. And now, um, yes, you've been in the back room. But you are now uh, free. You're a full player character. You can wander anywhere you like. Gotcha. Hmm. All so, right. Right. I have a milkshake. And I open the thing and I look outside and I see them out there and I laugh and I close the thing and I walk back into the back room. <laughs> All right, as you walk into the back room, uh, there is a Maelstrom ganger who is a lady. I just posted a picture of her. She has uh, replaced uh, almost all of her face. And she goes by uh, the name of The Machine. She's one ugly bitch. So, uh... So, uh, she saw you look out the window and asks, Hey, Jinx, you see something out there? Nothing worth bothering over.
Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If there's going to be a hit on this site, I want to know about it. I'm in charge of security here. Oh, uh, they don't look competent enough to hit. I wouldn't worry about it. And then I grab a marshmallow and pop it in my mouth and go in the back room. Oh. But you gotta get those cranks ready. <laughs> yes. What are cranks, by the way? We're going to need them tonight. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm working on whatever I'm working on. I haven't quite got the cyberpunk tunk tech stuff down yet, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just, just, just make sure it's not a bomb casing that's filled with pinball machine parts. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I feel judged. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Skippy, who's got those Mickey Mouse ears, he says that they're glitching on him. And he keeps hearing the radio stations. Take a look at that. Will ya? Sure. Are they good radio stations? Hell if I know. <laughs> So I go over and start working on his ears while I do whatever. <laughs> you should get yours replaced. You should go full Maelstrom with the rest of us. That is a genuinely good thought, and I appreciate that thought. But I don't want to take away from your look. I mean, you've got this outstanding sort of, you know, G.I. Joe-esque thing going on. And that's you. Why would I want to take from you? That is just... It's so impressive, quite frankly. Um, yeah, plus, you know, I just, uh, I'm gonna go fix those ears now. All right, all right. Hey, Sketch. Keep an eye on her. Maybe hand her a wrench if she asks for it. And you, I forget your name. You go out front and see what the... What the hell the locals want. So, one of the Maelstrom goes out the front door. And uh, this is what the PC, this is what the PCs out on the sidewalk have been waiting for, I believe. And it, and the idiot coming with them. This guy uh, comes out. Um, he is missing a part of his skull that he has replaced with uh, basically red flashlights. Uh, he's smoking. Uh, he looks like he has as little of his flesh remaining as is possible. He steps outside of this Maelstrom hideout. And he asks, no one in particular, because you can't really see who he's looking at. What the hell do you want? So, cavalry? Zara? <laughs> All right. Red Eye says, world peace. So this guy takes a uh, drag of a cigarette and he says... Sounds bad for business. We don't I want tried. that combat zone. Zara just wants money. Money! <laughs> money and booze? We're, we're cracking of a of, of, of van. Windowless. Down by the road. White. <laughs> the uh someone was kidnapped from the college sector okay and one of the npcs who is traveling with you uh the guy who's got uh the camera and uh 
uh, the remote drone fly hovering near him. Uh, he subtly turns his camera in a way that um, that the uh, gang member doesn't notice, and uh, starts recording and starts recording this. Uh, the other NPC, the intern, just walks straight up and uh, shoves a microphone in this <laughs> gang member's face. Cavalry, I think we're going to have to sacrifice the intern. Good thing interns are dime a dozen. <laughs> if he puts that or camera actually, in my face, I'm going to kill him myself. Actually, it would probably be an Eddie a dozen. <laughs> So, <laughs> so then this gang member says, "I'm static," and that had, that thing that you're shoving in my face had damn well not be turned on. Uh oh. Either that, oh. or it better be a robotic cock. Um. Little little intern, if you value your life at all, I would step back at least ten paces and uh, turn around so that way you don't. Okay. Yeah, you, you 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 just don't want to see. We just don't want to see your face right now. <laughs> First roll of the night. All right, I want... Jason, I want you to roll cavalry. Um, you're rolling a 10-sider, plus your... Either your persuasion or your conversation. I'll give you a choice. Uh, that'll be my persuasion. Okay. Persuasion, all right. It's a 10-sider, your cool stat, and your... However many points are in your persuasion. And I'm going to set the, your uh, target number at um, difficulty value 13. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to make it considering I also rolled a one. Oh, Luke. <laughs> All right. First, let's find out what the total is. He gets Why to call it sub he, only mode. He gets to call it a re uh, reroll. <laughs> I don't see that. He said I thought your rolls would be better over Discord. He says reroll, reroll. <laughs> reroll. That's, that's a thank you. That is that isn't that isn't generosity. That's just sympathy, sadness, and pity. <laughs> this time I rolled a nine. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So that's an 18. <laughs> yeah. <Total. added. laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Cavalry just saved a life. <laughs> the, the life you, could, uh, the, you saved could be does, an intern's. Does verbally count off the steps as he steps backwards. Uh, 10, 9, 8... Seven, yeah, which puts him somewhere out in the middle of the road. Let's see if um, does he yell draw as soon as he gets there? Is he like get I to just... ten paces and yell draw? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, um, Nick. I find that suggestion amusing. That so was yes. me. Hi, Thor. <laughs> Static does yell one draw, and then he does finger guns. <laughs> and the intern flinches. <laughs> okay, so Static laughs, and then he says, "All right, <laughs> what do you screwheads really want here? Come on, you're on our turf." Time is no, on. seriously, that that that's what that's what we're looking for. Is we're 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 tracking a a windowless white van that sped through here uh, after they had kidnapped somebody, a, a young girl from from the college district. That happened again. 
Yeah. Again. Yeah. Uh, police have come in here a couple of times. It's uh, shaking us down, thinking that we're involved. Yeah, we don't touch anything high profile like that. Too much heat. Too much. Too much bother. It's a matter of understandable. Fact. If you, I'd be interested in hearing more about this van you saw. Well, like I said, it was, it uh, had a side door that op with that opened, but I mean, there was no windows. I mean, it was completely sealed off and it had a camera on the hood. So that way the driver could see uh, where, where they, where they were going. And it's involved in these abductions? It appears so. Appears so? It was or it wasn't? Okay, it was involved in this last one that we that we witnessed. Oh, that I believe. Okay. So he opens up his jaw, and there's an ashtray in there. So he puts out his cigarette and closes his jaw. <laughs> I hate that I hate so that. much. <laughs> Please do. Come on. It's okay, he has a little button. It's a vacuum that, like, shoves it, like, all out through. <laughs> Come on inside. I think that the machine needs to hear about this. You're all Her invited in. in here? Where? <laughs> I don't know who that is. But the machine is going to be very upset that someone is using her handle. All right. I'll, 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 I'll turn back around to the interns. Like, uh, little intern, uh, get you might want to get outside or out of the middle of the street, but go on the opposite side of, of, of this building and just kind of stand over there and there interview the air. <laughs> the intern says, hey, this is my exclusive. Whatever you learn, that's my byline. Okay. Uh, I'm st am I still in the vehicle or am I standing behind everybody? Uh, you snuck up behind the two medias, so uh, you are out of the vehicle. Okay. Uh, I want to elbow Red Eye and say, you know, if that intern gets too much footage, we have to take them out, right? You understand that? I do. Okay, just checking. I'll I'll make sure they don't have anything. La 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 la! Oh. I don't hear nothing. See, I don't see nothing. <laughs> that's why I confide in you because you get me out of murder. Oh, static nobody, goes. Nobody indoors. will find out anything. Who all goes into the gang hideout? Oh, you know Zara's going. Okay, Zara's going in. Same here. Is our and, limo uh, still outside? Yes. I'm staying Don't in worry, the limo. Don't worry, it's... Okay, you're staying in the limo? Okay. Oh, I can't uh, do my shit. And I can't be visible and do my shit. Um, that's, that's true. The cameraman, Trace Santiago, he's going inside, but he leaves his uh, camera drone hovering on the sidewalk and uh, where it can see both the limo and the intern. So he's keeping an eye on them. But he walks inside, right behind Zara. Is cavalry going in? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I, that's uh, three characters inside. I think that that's everybody. So, uh, mm. Allison, uh, Jinx sees the, uh, Nimrods, uh, the screw heads who were, uh, out on the sidewalk come inside with one of the gang members, and, uh, he waves to some, uh, ratty couches and <laughs> tells them, sit here. Hey, you guys drink Smash, right? 
damn Been a while, but sure. Smash. Zara's not going to question say, it. Down the hatch. As I say into the into the communication device, I could have had some smash. This bullshit. <laughs> Why'd I stay out here? <laughs> And okay. I've been drinking cheap coffee too much. <laughs> All right. Uh, Calvary will know that Smash is... Um, it is a brand name of drink. Uh, it is sold out of vending machines. But it is also a street drug. And drinking even one can of it has a chance of getting you addicted. It is an alcohol that is made out of the uh, biofuel that all of the cars run on. I'm not addicted. Uh, You're nomads addicted. <laughs> yeah. The nomads figured out uh, how to distill it, and then a and then the uh, corpos decided to can it and sell it to Fucking everyone corpos. else. Okay, I did this with the Golden Girls, but I used resist torture drugs to maybe not get addicted to whatever they gave me. Can I do that with Smash? Yes, you absolutely can. Okay, so when that comes up, I would like to. All right. So yeah, I'll, 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 I'll I'm just gonna end up like taking the can and opening it and just kind of make it look like I'm taking a drink every now and then, but not actually taking a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I got a drinking problem. I keep missing my mouth. <laughs> okay, uh uh Trace just starts guzzling the stuff. He says, "Ah. Uh not as good as the uh homebrewed stuff from the Nomad camps." But it wets the whistle. We may have to kill him. <laughs> What's a good sign is that instead of any other possible option, it's, you know, we're going to have to kill him. Uh, it's not we erase the tapes or not like, you know, maybe we should keep him from getting addicted. It's we're going to murder. <laughs> that's why that's why okay. we've got Zara here. <laughs> Zara does it. Zara, when she, Zara when does she our, needs to. She does our wet work when needed. <laughs> Fair Zara, enough. This, <laughs> this can of Smash is yellow, foamy, and um, it tastes pretty good. For the next four hours, you feel euphoric, loose, happy, and ready to party. You also get plus two to the following skills. Dance. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dance. Con we need some music. <laughs> Conversation, human perception, persuasion, and acting. Wait, are you keeping track of that? Because you talk really fast and I write really slow. <laughs> uh, I want to see I Shannon dance. Okay, cool. I'm going to guess that the entire Maelstorm like, room already has tons of like trap uh, EDM music just blasting. All right, there we go. That's white, white, white girl dancing. <laughs> no, this is white girl. Oh, white girl wasted. Is, woo! I'm so white girl. I'm so wasted. Girl, I'm wasted. No, you're wasted. <laughs> uh, are you as wasted as I am? <laughs> the music is not audible to, uh, Natural unaugmented ears. You need cyber ears to hear it. Or you need to turn on a portable radio. Nice. So, oh, uh, so the mouse are... ears guy, we're like trying to figure out why he keeps hearing music, but he's got mouse ears on. <laughs> he's dead yeah, well, mouse. He keeps, he keeps hearing the wrong music. That's his problem. He's hearing okay. uh, K-pop. <laughs> from um, the corporate zone. Across town. Uh, Zara, are you ready to make your resistance roll? Sure. What all do I need to add to that? All right. Um, it was... 
you are correct. It Stop is, chewing uh, on resist drugs and torture. So you roll your ten cider. You roll uh, there. It is willpower and however many points you put into resist torture and drugs. Oh, the okay. DV is fifteen. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, and Ow. for the record, I'm dealing with this right now. We're not in combat. Um, You're fine. I rolled oh, 18 sorry. total. Oh, we're you in combat, are solid. so Zara's okay. <laughs> but how am I gonna play Zara euphoric? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. So she throws her arm around Calvary's shoulders and says, Calvary, you know you never take me on a good, like, assassin mission anymore, you know, man? You, you're ignoring me. What the hell happened? I mean, we used to have through the system. such fun oh God, staking man. out our victim and putting a bullet right between their eyes. <laughs> Those were the good old days, man. And unfortunately, being a, a, a lawman has kind of put a kibosh on that, hasn't it? That's part I, I of the pack... fun, man. Not you are not supposed to do it, and we're really not supposed to do it. But I would really like to go on a stakeout again, man. I patched through to, to Zara. I'm like, that's why he's such a fucking boy scout. He doesn't do this shit anymore. We could but be making I... so much more money. We need to get him laid. Yeah, we do. So we hey, need to call that cybernetic chick. What was her name? I don't care. Figure out how to make us more money. That's what I want to do. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Talk about buzzkill call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you get interrupted as the girl in the ball cap uh, uh, walks in and sits on the ratty couch, uh, right between Zara and Cavalry. She puts her an I arm this is over, who we could get uh, to over each, each one of you and says, so, tell me about this van you saw. It and had why candy written on the side. This is a girl? Yep. I got a van I can show you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're we're looking for a, a white windowless van. My, side door opening. Mine has windows though, because I assume you're a voyeur. <laughs> Zara, make me another roll. This is a persuasion oh, roll. Oh no. You are adding, you are adding a ten sider, your cool stat, your persuasion skill, and an extra two points as your bonus from drinking Smash. Well, I mean, all of... No, no, my cool's already down here. Okay, so... That is... DV is only 13. 11. <laughs> I rolled a 1. Oh, wait, you rolled a 1? Okay. Roll me a... Ten cider, and I want you to subtract that from your eleven. A one? Wait. Oh, okay, okay. I rolled a ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it it still <laughs> in the positives, but uh, the machine uh, does oh, get Lord. up and uh, step away from you and sit in a different uh, seat and says. Lady, you are so not my type. That's okay. I, I, guess, I shot I guess my we shot. Got one good, we got one good roll out of her before. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Zara's unfazed, though. She shot her shot. She's good. She don't have humanity. She's like, bad. Eh, oh, well, on to the next one. <laughs> All right, back to business. So, who disappeared into the van? Stop. <sighs> I wrote her name down. Name down. <laughs> We're looking for a, a Lucy Reinmeyer. 
Who the Sam hell is Lucy Reinmeier? You know, Lucy Reinmeier. Wait, wait, wait. I bet I have information on that. No. I don't take as good a notes as some people. We were hired by Mr. Bella, a rep for Mr. Reinmeier at Rockland Augmen... Augmentics? Correct. Augmentics? I have very fast cursive. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I fucking got. <laughs> you, you write your notes in cursive? Uh, yeah, I write faster in cursive. Holy shit. Mm. That's a, that's a right. skill. Uh, you want to see? I can show you. No, I'm just saying. I can't even remember how it's to write in backwards. <laughs> yep. The only time I write in cursive is when I sign my name. I took a lot of information. Um, you know. Oh, wait. You hear a rumor in the hallway. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't write all that down. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and she was supposed to. Or she was she was meeting with a a group. She was meeting with some vampire type groups the, that yeah, with the, the the Drakes. Yeah, and a lot of people that feel harmonic vampires glorify. I don't want to read that. Uh, <laughs> it's the feel harmonic vampires. All right, at this point, uh, the machine shakes her head and she says, Ah, the frickin' Philharmonics. <laughs> you know, I think that it's those jackasses who are pointing the finger at us over the disappearances from the college. And Zara that thinks Bella Lugosi is involved. That's all I need to say. <laughs> Red Eye concurs. Oh, oh wait, I'm not it. supposed to be listening. <laughs> yeah, we, we we think the the guy who actually hired us as well is either a, a groupie wannabe or, or yeah, he 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 looks like a wannabe vampire. Well, I hate posers. So how about this? You ice the guy who hired you, and we'll let you into the maelstrom. That's okay. What are you going to pay? Because we're getting paid a lot from this fucking poser dude. So who cares if he's a poser, man? All right. It's your afterlife. I'm not going to argue the point. How come I feel I like know. he's going to kill us? I would, I would love to find out where that van went. If it vanished anywhere near here. So we've, would we. We've lost people too. Wait, they're taking gang members? That's super uncool. It's uncool when it happens to my pack. Damn right. Hey, if yeah. we if we get your people back, how much will you pay us? Yeah. Her negotiating skills are not as good right now. How about here? How about for every head that you can return to me, I'll give you a head. Just... What do you what do you like? Joy toys? Uh Anik over there. She ain't worth much. To us. And she and then the machine points at Jinx. No, money can At this point in time I'm wearing the mouse head, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear a damn thing with these on. Did someone, did someone say my name? I can't hear anything. <laughs> I got these big ears. Can't hear shit. So Zara oh, will look no. over at oh. Jinx. And say, eh, you know, I like money though. Money, money's good. I've heard of this jinx. 
We need her in our crew. Euro dollars are tight right now. So, how about uh, 50 eddies ahead? How so, many are I'll pay you that much for whoever you can bring back here. Be they members of Maelstrom or some other sucker. They'd be good for spare parts. Okay. Deal. All right, we also then. need Jinx. At this point in time, I have, like, one of those little guns that would shoot a t-shirt, except I have marshmallows in it, and I'm just shooting it around the room. <laughs> <laughs> we really need oh. her. One she of them fun. hits, uh... One of them, one of them hits Calvary in the face. <laughs> I love this chick. We need her. <laughs> I'll just look over. Quirk an Seriously. eyebrow. <laughs> Seriously, do you, do you want the mechanic? Because well, uh, she does good work, but uh, she's starting to get on my last nerve. Don't you think yeah. maybe we need someone Two from your crew uh, to identify members yeah. of your crew we're supposed to bring back? Yeah, she just said bring any any of them back, whether they're her crew or not. Yeah. You'll know Maelstrom when you see him. She points at her own face, which has been uh, we're replaced. We're taking her. And yes. says... These are our gang colors. Yeah, we'll, and it, we'll, we'll, when, as soon we'll as she points to her too. face, as soon as she points to her face, I hit her in the face with two marshmallows. <laughs> 50 eddies ahead plus the mechanic. That sounds like a good deal. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see if the machine catches the marshmallow. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zara and the, will invite and her along. It, Flexibly. It's like, okay. like, hey, you over there. You look Come like fun. Come on. It'll be an adventure. I'm not sure. Word. When you say adventure, this sounds like when people say, hey, you want to do this? This is interesting times. And I don't like interesting times. Interesting times don't work out well for me. What do you like? I don't trust. Welcome to our group. Hope you survived the experience. Uh, this group, which does not have a name yet. I've just been calling red you the Edge Rock. And the Red Edge. No. <laughs> no. Calvary's Angels. Calvary's Angels. That came up with it. That was a good one. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Like, I can't. It's. The, the guy that was like the, the go between Charlie and, and, and the, the agents. What was his name? Bosley. Bosley, that's right. Great, I'm Bosley. <laughs> <laughs> Damn reruns. Okay. All right, you are somebody's angels, and uh, that will be determined later. <laughs> um, but, Do you need uh, me for a few minutes? Nope. Guess where I gotta go. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, Trey Santiago, the media, uh, he's uh, pulled out of somewhere. You didn't see him do it. He's got another camera drone that's hovering over his shoulder. <laughs> now, and he says, uh, not to uh, uh, kill the vibe, but uh, we did come in here for some intel. Um, is there anything that, uh, you guys can tell us? And then he looks at, uh, both the Edge Runners and at the Maelstrom. Gotcha. I have lit a marshmallow on fire and shot it at the drone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to want you to roll an attack th with that one. So, Which, roll uh, which... Six-sider? Yeah, a ten-sider. Ten. Insider, okay. Insider. Oh, I only got a one. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll me that ten sider again so I can okay. see how bad of a shot this was. Four. 
four. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, you completely miss um, the uh, drone, and instead you hit Calvary in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Calvary's on fire. It's all stewy and... Oh, man! Okay. This is a condition in the game. Uh, Calvary, you are now slightly on fire. As opposed to moderately or deadly on fire. And... Until you spend an entire combat round to put yourself out, you are going to continually take one hit point of damage. I'm trying to scrape the stuff off and... <laughs> are, are we technically in combat right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Calvary is putting himself out. and <laughs> Even when we don't want to be in combat, we're in combat with you. <laughs> Does anybody have any specific questions for the Maelstrom? Before you get kicked out. I'm not inside, so I don't. But you are eavesdropping. You any, I, I, any, any idea where uh, these Philharmonic idiots uh, would be hanging out at? Uh, the machine says, yes. As a matter of fact, we do know that. Back over on the University District. You ever been there? Yep. They've got a student union, and they like to uh, hang out and polish their fangs in the basement underneath the student union. They're I there love every night. Fang polishing. And I did mean that as a double on time drop. Oh, me either. All right. Now, if they hang out there, why the heck did they drive out here to the combat? Unless if it was a ruse. Thank you for the information. Uh, you're welcome, screwhead. Oh, that's not Enjoy that. Yes, I said Jason on fire. Drink. drink. Sorry, Allison, what was that? I was telling uh, Shannon great news. I said Jason on fire. I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Maelstrom has uh, nothing more to say to you. And now Static is holding the do front door open for you. And I'll walk out. Thank you for your time. <laughs> As I send a glare to the mechanic that's following with us. Uh, it is Jinx following. I think Jinx is being grabbed by the back of the neck and escorted with them. <laughs> yeah, I think Zara's doing that. She thinks she's being, like, tender and loving and like, come with us, sweetie, because she's euphoric, but she's actually grabbing the back of her neck and like, come with us! <laughs> Look. Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to light him on fire. I mean, I kind of meant to light him on fire because it's funny, but I didn't mean to, like, light him on fire. You don't have to be so mean about it. What? I'm not being mean. That was hilarious. Thanks, Haunted Log, for uh, subbing to your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's an automatic sub, though. I don't know how that works, is it? Yep, you get subbed to your own channel automatically. Yeah. You get your own emotes and stuff. 
I just <laughs> thought I'd be fun. <laughs> Oh, and I'm trying to grab tools as I go out, like grab toolboxes and stuff as I'm being drug out. Yeah, this isn't your normal workshop. This is just where you had to work for the short, for the short period. So you've got a portable tool kit. You've got your tool bag. You don't have your cat with you. Gotcha. Oh, well, maybe it is a cat, but it's a taxidermied cat. <laughs> it's like in the toolbox. <laughs> Fluffy. It, it it's a it's a little Hello Kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, that that she found one on the eye. street. Okay, I'm going. Say it's got one, one eye missing and an ear. <laughs> All right, the uh, intern is um, not dead. Uh, he is just uh, interviewing a uh, random bag lady. Uh, who happened to uh, walk past. And, Word on the street um, is, is you wear men's clothing. <laughs> this is bag lady chic. I traded a rat burger for this coat. <laughs> All right. The, uh, do you guys let this play out, or do, does anybody want to interrupt? I'll let it play out. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of interested Thank to see you. what the bag lady does to the intern. <laughs> All right, I just rolled a there. couple of initiative rolls. Uh, the bag lady pulls out a sawed-off shotgun from her oh. <laughs> uh, from her cart. Mm -hmm. Um, and turn, leave the nice lady alone. Zara just crosses her arms and kind of cocks her head and smiles like, where's this going to go? Well, uh, the bag lady beat him on initiative, so, uh, she's going to pull the trigger. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rolled a one. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh... And her her skills are not high enough to carry that uh, into a success, regardless. Um, it go uh, he flinches and uh, the barrel goes off and the shot shoots right past his ear. And then he runs to you guys for assistance. Told you to and... leave the bag lady alone, you idiot. Zara's laughing and slapping her knee and grabbing her belly. She's it's hilarious mm -hmm. to her. Would have been too... one less intern. She tries to squeeze off the second barrel, but her gun is now jammed because I rolled a one. <laughs> so she's breaking open the shotgun and trying and trying to fix the problem. Way to go. I'm going to kick the intern in the butt and say, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no roll required. <laughs> <laughs> and a successful unarmed attack. And he goes sprawling uh, out all over the sidewalk. And Trace Santiago is uh, follows him down with the camera and says... <laughs> Is there a driver in the limousine? Is there is there a driver in the car? That would be cavalry. Yeah. I'm getting there in the front seat of the car to see how it starts up. <laughs> uh this I say touch nothing. To answer the question. Um, this limo can be driven either by a wire that, uh, plugs into the driver's neck, or it can be, uh, driven the traditional way by, uh, pressing a button to start it and pressing down on the gas. Press the button just to hear what all <laughs> is going on in it <clears throat> to see if it'll start and all that other stuff. Yeah. And then it I, start. I kind of... I rev it a bit. I don't actually, like, take that apart, but I rev it a bit. It needs a tune-up, but it runs. 
Has anyone else gotten in the car yet, or are you just going to let me drive? <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting in the car. I figured we were all very close to you, and I just got in to see what you were going to do. <laughs> I've been in the car the whole time. Okay. Uh, Trey Santiago uh, slips a business card into uh, Zara's coat pocket. She laughs. And then he helps the media up off the ground, and he uh, walks him down the sidewalk in order to go harass other bag ladies, or whatever it is that they're going to do next. <laughs> I'll go up to the driver's do door. You're sitting in my seat. I just go, vroom, vroom, vroom! Get... <laughs> Out. I have a like Agent Schwa, Agent Fuck You kind of vibe <laughs> going on right now. Sarah's just watching. Hey, um, Good entertainment. I move over, but I start pushing all the buttons on the dashboard. <laughs> I told you to touch nothing. Hey, Mouse Girl, see that big red one? He really hates when you yeah. push the big red one. <laughs> that happens to be the ejector seat that just launches your <laughs> <hates it. laughs> If that's true, uh, my character definitely would have. <laughs> no, no, the ejector seat is actually a uh, nomad upgrade. That you guys didn't get, you got the grenade launcher instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. So yeah. We just launched a grenade at the hideout. Oh. oh. I think we were pointing. You were probably pointing the other direction, so you probably launched yeah. it at the bag lady. <laughs> yeah, you you launched it down the street. It might hit the bag lady. Um, does anybody want to make a roll for that? I do. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, you yeah, does. one bag lady dead. Let's see if she turns the into the mist. Then you don't have to roll it. You the can just... What's I up, turn Scott? The cameras on the... What do I need to roll? Uh, if you spend a luck point, you don't have to roll. You can just tell me where the grenade lands. No, I but... want to roll. I... <laughs> <laughs> I turn on I turn on the camera for this footage so I can see it through my my cyber deck. Roll me a ten cider. Just give you the number. Yep. Ten. I don't think you have heavy weapons anyway, and this is a wild <laughs> shot. Ten. Okay. Um. Yes. You. Uh, you got the is... building to go straight. <laughs> I'm sitting here going like this in the back seat. Um, it, the grenade uh, sort of arches up in the air and then comes down and lands in the uh, back of the bag lady's hood <laughs> of her coat. And then uh, she explodes all over the street. Yes! <laughs> she had a surprising amount of cybernetics inside of her. <laughs> Murder! Wow, I, Murder! I, uh, I see the cybernetics and go running out to collect it. <laughs> if you were Gen X, you would know that's worth 5,000 points. <laughs> shotgun. Um, the uh, the uh, part that she was pushing is uh, unsalvageable. <laughs> uh, get as many uh, uh, dirty clothes as you want uh, but in the cyberware you're able to pick out uh, like an eyeball and a mm -hmm. pair of fangs <gasps> she had uh, robotic fangs oh did the fangs point us anywhere I think she's a phantom. Are the um, mouse people lying to us? 
No. The... Or is it a red herring? Well, that's all the info I'm getting, because those are the only cyber parts you got. An eyeball and a pair of... And a pair of... Guys... That all that was left. Good job, Zara. I think... I didn't By do way, it. The fangs... I now am, like, walking around with chatting with them to people. <laughs> Zara points at him and says, I think we suppo we're supposed to ask her more questions. <laughs> and I take Back the little uh, the fangs mechanic. and go, ask me anything! <laughs> I'll get into the driver's seat, shut the door, and lock it. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you, uh, like, does do the eyes hold any sort of memory banks in them? Now that you're looking at it, yes. There is a camera involved, and uh, there is also a night vision function. I wonder if there was, like, a net runner that could, like, look at that stuff. Or a tech, either one. <laughs> hmm. Play it oh, like a if movie. if I could look at it, that would be great, yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Can I play this thing like a hologram? Uh, not here. You could do that at, back at your workshop. All right. Yeah, if we can go back to my workshop, I can do this. Uh, but we need to be stealthy when going to said workshop for reasons that are no, not really necessary to bring up now. <laughs> stealthy is not our middle name. Not okay. even our last name. Just don't right. push the red button anymore if you want to be stealthy. Yeah. It's shiny. As much as I want to I... see bag ladies blow up, you know, don't press the red button again. <laughs> Please don't. Don't. Allison, I would very much like for you to tell us about uh, Jinx's workshop. Great. Um, so... I'm going to say when you drive towards it, it just looks like a junkyard, an abandoned junkyard. It's like creaky old fences yeah. on the front of it. Mm -hmm. And parts kind of just strewn about. Grass that's about, you know, three, four feet high. Uh, trees that are like aching over into like the driveway or whatever. Um, and... Uh, various, like, red blinking eyes in different trees. <laughs> also some doll heads, just to add to the effect. Um, and various doll parts hanging oh. from everything. It's exactly how I pictured it would be. I like what you've done with the plays. <laughs> Style substance. <laughs> yes. Uh, when you actually yeah. drive into the place... Like, when you actually, like, get up to it, there's, like, a, I lift up some, like, moss, and there's, like, a little keypad to get in, and I punch about 40 numbers into it, <laughs> and then a garage door opens. <laughs> and when you open the garage door, this uh, makes sense, like, when you open the, the garage door, which looks very beaten up and stuff, you roll into a place that's actually very, very neat. <laughs> very, very kept up. Ah. Uh, and uh, boxes of stuff, various cybernetics Looks everywhere. can't be deceiving. This looks very okay. human, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> and you like uh, holograms. Uh, that was mentioned already. So, um... Uh, your workspace can uh, be projecting a hologram uh, within to make it look however you like. Great. Um, because also there's uh, the roof um, from the outside looks like metal, but on the inside you can actually see their windows so you can see outside. So it almost looks like a greenhouse in it. And then uh, there are lots of screens everywhere. Each of the windows will actually turn into a screen. Ruby. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yes, the hologram, I'm going to punch that up against a uh, uh, sort of cinder block wall. 
Although, like, uh, there's some, like, clear film hanging in front of it to bounce off of. I'm gonna hit... Tip it whatever and hit play. Okay. Uh, well, it's going to first play the, uh... Last few things that she saw, which are a uh, the intern uh, uh, trying to interview her, and as you scroll back for further, you see a few minutes earlier than that, uh, she was walking in a circle around the Maelstrom hideout, and before that, she was following a pair of Maelstroms who were walking down the street towards the hideout. The farther back you scroll scroll, uh, you see that she's been spying on the Maelstrom all day long. Gotcha. Can yeah. I scroll back any further? Yes, you can. But I'm going to make you give me a dice roll for this. I want you to roll a ten-sider plus your intelligence stat plus your library search skill. Okay. And I'm going to set your difficulty up. Let's keep it at 13. All right. Mm -hmm. So I rolled a five. Okay. Uh, and then... I don't know where... <laughs> I'm trying to read, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, it's okay, you're fine. Hi, Angel. What were the other th Okay, so I don't know where library is on here. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. It's... I'm looking that up myself. Is that under... Because I forgot. Oh, it's under education skills. Education. Library is what it's called. Um... I thought it was on your character sheet. Yeah, maybe you don't have that skill. In which case, you're adding just your intelligence. 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 That's going to be at the top of your character sheet. Plus eight. Teen. I don't see a library. I see education, but I don't see a library. I thought that... I thought that your tech had that had that skill but see, i know i i've got it i have it too okay so your total is 13 correct yes eight in intelligence plus five on the dice okay that is not adequate you had to uh beat a 13 to Here's find the information Here's that you need. It's a what? Use a luck point. It's a luck point? Yes. Apparently I'm mechanic. using a luck point. Okay. All right. At the top of your uh, character sheet, uh, one of your stats is luck. You have oh. that many points to spend during an adventure. Every okay. time you spend a luck point, uh, that's a uh, one point that you get to add to any die roll you make. Okay. If your character has five luck points, you can add them one at a time to five different rolls, or you can spend them mm -hmm. all at once um, on one big roll. Gotcha. You can divide them up however you like. All right. I can use one, and that'll put me over, right? Yes. So I could use one to put me over to roll it back. Okay. Uh, hey, look at that! You found the white van. Uh, the bag lady uh, saw. The bag lady witnessed it. Uh, she saw it drive. Past I had a feeling. <laughs> recently, and uh, it turned down a certain road. She did not follow it, but it. But uh, this road, according to the sign on the corner, is a dead end street. So it could not have gone very far after it made that turn. And it did not come back out again while she was watching. And the name of that street is Third Street. 
right between first it's right between second street and fourth street and it is in the combat zone very mysterious yeah the combat zone by the way is just uh what you call a really 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 bad neighborhood even by night city standards gotcha uh, i'm thinking we could should go investigate guys i agree i rolled can I roll back any further to see who hired her to spy on the mouse tech? Yes. Um, uh, you see that uh, she's uh, speaking with a uh, couple of uh, figures uh, the previous night who also have fangs, and they look um, suspiciously like Christopher Lee. <laughs> nice. Like from the Lord of the Rings, Christopher Lee? <laughs> no, oh, from no. Dracula, Christopher Count, Lee. Count Dracula Dooku Christopher from Lee. Star Wars, Dracula, and Christopher Lee, metal mm, artist, yeah. Christopher Lee, guy Spy? who killed Seven. Nazis during <laughs> World War II, Christopher <laughs> Lee. I can't remember uh, the names of any other actors off the top of my head. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Carrie Oldman? What's the, the actress from the Underworld movies? Kate oh, Beckinsale. Uh, Kate Beckinsale. Thank you. Sorry, okay, I answered yeah. that a little too fast. My wife! <laughs> <laughs> you okay, gotta fight uh, for yeah. her. All right, the audio was not recorded, but uh, it looks like she was speaking with Christopher Lee and Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> <laughs> Before she walked what up, into the what up here? Zara is very interested to go now. All right. If we go back further, um, I mean, I don't want to go far enough back that we run into anything gross. But That's is there as anything? Far back as back? Okay. Did, did I just see? Uh, we need to go. With a 14, that's all you get. Red Eye, do you remember your that's last okay. date? No, that was Calvary. I stole your date. I'm sorry. Never you mind. Stole my date. Never yeah, mind. I remember that. But we're sisters, we're the last so date that was a non date for him or for her. Hey, she Red Eye up, still we, has it. We ventilated her and she ended up in. Oh, wait. Calvary doesn't know about that. Hi. Uh, Red Eye still has a date yet to be resolved with uh, the uh, guy Kappa from the gang oh, Tiger, Tiger Claw. Oh, Tiger Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that to look forward to. Great. That'll be fun. Okay, so where are you guys? You guys have a couple of leads now. Uh, you have the basement of the Student Union, and you have... Uh, Third Street in the combat zone. All right, so so what, Jinx? Next where is where 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 where's your your work area located nearby? Are we closer to the student union in the university zone, or are we closer to the combat zone? I'm closer to wherever corporate is not. Evie, that would be the combat zone. So, yeah, probably closer to the combat zone. Probably, like, on the edge of it, like, not quite in it, but not close to corporate. <laughs> I know exactly where that would be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess then we will go to 3rd Street. I'm assuming that's in oh. between 5th and 8th. <laughs> <laughs> It is, uh, in fact, uh, between second and fourth. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was boring and uncreative that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shannon's got two visitors. She's being invaded by kiddos. Invaded. <laughs> and now the cat. <laughs> <laughs> cat. And peanut. Where'd we get a cat? I need to look on the the Twitch page and see this. Um, 
Hey, by the Looks way, like at this point bed. in time, yes, they're going to bed. <laughs> hey, by the way, at this point in time, I'm going through my workshop and collecting various things and putting them in bags. <laughs> Are you bringing the with you? <laughs> I have um, I cargo it. pants. <laughs> I have cargo pants and uh, I'm just filling up all the pockets with stuff. <laughs> okay. So instead of having a handbag of holding, she's going to have pockets of holding. <laughs> yes, multiple. Oh, man. Yeah. I was hoping for a handbag of holding. Everything's all messed holding. up now. It's made it into <laughs> every game we've ever played, but that's okay. They can be pockets of... I already have one though. I I have a tech bag. <gasps> Do a fanny pack of holding. Ooh yes, fanny pack. <laughs> nice. Oh, so she 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 she's a tech. So wouldn't it, wouldn't she have a pocket protector? No, you of be, holding. You be quiet. Pocket protector. <laughs> fanny pack. <laughs> Fan yeah, fanny pack's way better. Fanny pack and uh, cargo pants with various pockets. Basically, when she I just, walk, it jingles. She just she just pulls whatever she needs out of wherever, and you know. Mm -hmm. Well, it's made it into the game, so congratulations, <laughs> Scott. You now have it to where she can pull anything she wants. Not to derail, but Evie was like, "Those are really pretty. I wish they were mine." Like four times, I said, "But they're mine." <laughs> <laughs> Your dice? The, your yes, dice? Yes! They're my dice. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. They, if, if they're kids, they would lose them within like a week. They did. Santa brought them three would, sets and they're gone. And oh then you boy. would step on them in the middle of the night in the dark. Oh no. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you'd invariably always find the D4. Right. And that's why they don't have walk... metal. That's that's what you wish on your enemies. May you walk in the dark at home, and may your <laughs> foot find a metal D four in your foot. But she brought me a present. <laughs> nice a feather. Nice a feather. <laughs> okay, so you ah. Uh... Drive across the combat zone. You find um, the place that you're looking for. This is uh, Third Street, and it's only a couple of blocks long. It does end in a dead end, and I just posted a picture of the building at the dead end. It is an old church that looks like it was. Uh, it looks like home! <laughs> This actually looks like South Road's mall. It's it's like decrepit and yet has like neon signs and a neon church. It looks like a big dirt pile now. That's what it is. That's what it looks like to you. Looks like yeah, vampires on, live there. On both sides of the street are just uh, abandoned warehouses. So we're in South Omaha. <laughs> Well, Zara, looks like you may get your uh, steak out. Oh, shit. I was satiated with the bag lady murder, but I'm ready for more. <laughs> I, Arky, what does color together mean, and why are we playing it with you? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now the camera's... <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh my God. <laughs> the cameras are all messed up now. There we go. We're back. We're back. I mean, you know, I know you wanted us to color with you, and I appreciate that. But maybe, maybe not now. Maybe later. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Stop I pushing the buttons. <laughs> Put it with the buttons. <laughs> I know that you guys don't like to fight vampires uh, at nighttime, and it is not yet nighttime. It's still on uh, Oh, no, we love hunting vampires at night. 
It is overcast though. Because you're gonna get you gotta give me that much. And <laughs> in Cyberpunk during the time of the red, uh the sunset does start a couple of hours before sundown. So the entire sky has turned a bright red color. And it bathes the whole street. Ooh, pretty. And that's because I there's like... really is that much debris still in the upper atmosphere. I like <laughs> red. I don't want to touch anything because I might play a game. <laughs> From one of my pockets, I pull out a glow-in-the-dark <laughs> cross. <laughs> Throw it around my neck. <laughs> um... Yeah. Okay, uh, remind me that you're wearing that if I ever call for making a uh, a fashion skill roll. Because <laughs> that is a real thing on the character sheet. Okay, so are you breaking down the door? Or are you staking out? Are you bombing the building from the outside? Well, Zara and Calvary did talk about it. staking out, so I'm probably we, we staking we out. We don't go directly to bombing here. We we we're gonna stake out first. Why do you take away all my fun? Because it's fun. <laughs> it makes it more interesting for us. <laughs> I agree, I like to go in guns blazing, but we do also need to know how many of these idiot vampires are in there. We can't we can't go murder hobo yet until we Plus, realize what we're up against. We don't get our massive amount of money that I, you know, asked for if we bring the college girl back dead. Oh, yeah. you promised a live? This yeah. one we promised alive. It wasn't dead or alive. It's we promised a alive. lot of money. Yeah, a lot of gotcha. money. However, the other one just wanted heads. Didn't say live heads. Well, you can, you can chop them off if you want. Blow them <laughs> up. But we need to get the college girl out alive, and then you can kill what, kill whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> we got to find out if she's here, right? Sounds yep. like a red-eye job. That's what I was just going to say. Who's red-eye? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I yeah, need you duct tape, who got the, uh, a jar full of brown M&Ms. So one of you is going to have to go actually go forward. My stealth. Yeah. Trey Santiago is perfect tool for this, but he's not with you right now. My stealth's 11. Mine's 12. Okay. So. But aren't you hanging back to do the... Yeah, I gotta get in the system. My stealth is... 7! <laughs> well, I think we're sending Zara ahead. <laughs> Because she's okay. our soldier. All right, I'll stealth inside while Red Eye does her thing. And I will patch into the uh, surveillance and the systems. Oh, and I hand oh, you some so duct prepared, tape. Prepared for the best hacker on the planet to do her shit. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Zara. Please make me that skill roll. I think that the name of the skill is stealth, but it might be sneak. It's stealth. It is stealth. stealth. Yep. Okay. And I'm not going to, there is a DV, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. 16 total. Oh, do I have any pluses to my um, drink? Uh, not to that, but um, yeah, you didn't need it. Uh, 16 is way more than adequate. Um, Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Fang drop. There Go is the a... Dynamite. There is a, uh, security camera over the front door, but, and it is hidden, but it is not hidden well. So Zara was able to avoid it. 
as she snuck past. Because she's fast as yeah. fuck, boy. You know, that would have been a perfect target for the marsh- the flaming marshmallow uh, <laughs> shooter. <laughs> True story. <laughs> So uh, she is able to sneak in with no problems. Meanwhile, Red Eye um, is getting a lot of static. It looks like there is a a net architecture in this building. It's the only building on the block which has electrical power. Uh, But um, there is just uh, so much static in the bad wiring of the outside of the building that you would have to be actually inside the building in order Ooh. to hack it. Watch this. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yeah. And... I'm going to go in the building. Use my stealth. Okay. You make the same roll that Zara just made. What do I got to beat? Just roll a 16 or higher, and you know you got it. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> it's either an 18 or... No, nope, yeah, 18. Okay. Uh, this is what both Zara and Red Eye are seeing after they sneak inside. Okay, and I'm going to read straight out of the Bible here. If my screen stops jumping off the page. (laughs) Just inside the doorway hangs two large candelabra candle holders with blood red candles fully lit. There is what looks to be a leather carpet rolled out. A closer look reveals it is not leather, but human skin on the flip side. The sections are... Oh, I posted that in the cyberpunk cyberpunk channel. The sections are sewed together with awning thread. The skin displays random gang tats. Whoever made this carpet did a number on gangers. The bar area is a large open room with dozens of decaying tables and chairs. Rotting, skinless bodies sit neatly Why did I have to come in here? A rather colorful display of cybered heads rests on the bar with red candles melting blood red wax into the metal. On the far wall, a stage dominates the space. A pentagram, presumably painted in blood, decorates what appears to be an altar. Strung from the ceiling is a ganger, dripping blood, breathing barely, (laughs) chanting the same phrase over and over. I don't know if the amount of money is worth it, Zara. What he's saying is, Black Mass for our Lord. Black Mass for our Lord. Uh, To the right of the main door is a large staircase that leads down. Music echoes from below. A great symphonic score from Tchaikovsky. Oh, it's not Blade Rave? Uh, the stairs leading down the chapel are littered with ammo cases. There are blood red candles neatly placed on the handrails. And uh, that's what you see from here. Great. But now that you're inside the building, um, yes, there is a net architecture. And it is uh, connected to at least one control node. Which, uh, from your experience, Red Eye, is probably a defense mechanism. Like a trap door, a, a automatic drone that patrols the place, or a turret gun that pops out of the ceiling or a wall. Hey, cavalry! 
Yeah. Give me a perception roll, please. I'm scared, Zara. I don't have. I still have my humanity. A little <laughs> bit. Yeah, that a little bit. Just... I'm, I'm like 14 away from being inhuman. Yes, yeah, 15. You only, only need a 10. Okay, 15 is great. Hey, there's that white van. It's coming up the street right now. Towards Union Chapel. Uh, which is the name of this building. This little church. Zara, Red Eye, White Van is on its way to your location. Stop touching your ear. Have you never watched James Bond? <laughs> <laughs> I know. But no one's here to see me looking like an idiot. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I gotta get this interior, <laughs> interior decorator to my place. How is Jinx passing the time during this oh, day? I'm, um, cavalry. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm looking at the dashboard, and like whenever cavalry's looking away, I'm pressing more buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I powered the vehicle off. <laughs> Okay, uh, Calvary, whatever you had set as uh, the preset radio stations are now changed. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. That's something well, that's that Zara okay. does to me on constantly, so... Well, that's okay, because that he... he's got bad taste in music. <laughs> yeah, uh, what are the new radio stations, Jinx? Oh, um... So we've got, um, we're going to go with, you know, some, uh, one is just, uh, going to be, um, it's going to be, it's going to be Technopop. <laughs> uh, we're going to have one that's, uh, DM. We're going to have one that's, uh, um, it's going to be the most techno annoying <laughs> And nothing, there's nothing that doesn't have, like, a constant thrumming beat to it. <laughs> Everything has a constant thrumming beat that makes the the limo rattle just a little bit. Just... <laughs> makes Calvary's teeth rattle. One of those annoying uh -huh. vehicles you pull up next to at a red light and wish they'd just turn their shit down. <laughs> and one, is, one is opera, which also is the only the opera songs that have a beat <laughs> that make the car rumble. <laughs> That's a sick beat. <laughs> I thought he was going to say I need to get a new team. Well, <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, you know the classical music is a jam if it calls for multiple cannons. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cavalry and Jinx. Uh, you do not see uh, the... Uh, anyone carrying the latest uh, kidnapping victim out of the van, but you do see two characters get out of the van. And I just posted pictures of them here. One of them looks very, very pale. And I'm afraid to touch anything. Eyes uh, replaced with a sensor array. And the other one looks like uh, he's got no visible chrome. Uh, but he is wearing these... Yeah, but he is like wearing it. these red robes. And sunglasses. So, there is a chance that, uh, a, a slim chance that either of you guys would be able to figure out what gangs uh, these two characters are just by their appearance. So I would like both uh, Jinx and Cavalry to roll me a tinsider, add your intelligence and your local knowledge. It's easy. And you're going to need to roll a 15 or higher. All right, so it's intelligence and what? 
There is a skill called local knowledge. Local knowledge. Is it local knowledge or local expert? Oh, thank you. Local expert. Oh, okay. Do I do stat, level, or total? Okay, your total includes uh, those first two numbers. So you, you can add just your 10-sider and your total. Okay. And so um, I got a 16. Okay. Um, That's one success. 23. Ooh, solid success. Okay. Uh, uh, Jason, uh, you can tell uh, by the type of robes that this guy is wearing that he is from a gang called the Inquisitors. The Inquisitors are a cult gang, and they are fanatically anti-cybernetics. To the point where if they catch you on the street, they will save your soul by pulling the cybernetics out of your body and leave you bleeding on the street. That's saving your soul. He's hanging out with a tech guy? Yeah. Uh, Jinx will recognize both of these gangs because she rolled much better. One of them is definitely from the Inquisitors. And the other one is a former member of the Bozos. The Bozos oh, I was are it was a... the Golden Girls. <laughs> the Bozos are a prankster gang. All of them uh, dress like clowns. Uh, they have a white skin and very large feet. And but that's not makeup. They are surgically altered to look that way. And this one also has uh, some uh, cyberware over his face. The Bozos and the Inquisitors do not get along. Because the Inquisitors don't get along with anybody. Yeah, they don't appear that they would. <laughs> I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not one to judge. Or, you know, I am one to judge. But in this case, <laughs> I'm not trying to judge, but... Uh, this doesn't seem like a team that would be together normally, and that's a little alarming. I, 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 I would agree. Also, side, uh, Zara and Red Eye, you have been alerted. What are you guys going to do? Since you're inside and they're going inside. I'm going to tell you, hey, there's there's a clown coming in. Just be aware, there's a, there's a clown. And an I'm going to hide. But more importantly, there's a clown. Before Red Eye hides, I'm going to look at Red Eye and be like, there's already a clown in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still a little bit high, right? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. I don't know that I would have the good sense to hide. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm gonna shoot you now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm one. Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, you probably don't want to see. Just you know, don't look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh. Hopefully, we don't get a strike there. Sorry, I blocked it. I blocked it. You. It's, it's I'm not it's not my fault, okay? I have no idea <laughs> Cat <laughs> Cat's uh, having a bath at the moment. <laughs> Just you know there, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll get it like a little <laughs> I'm gonna click something and our pictures might go away for just a moment. There we go, we're good. Alright. Groovy. Uh actually this is probably a good stopping point. Uh, because I yes. said that we've got a, a short session, and it looks like uh, we may or may not be going into a combat scenario next. So okay. I'll uh, leave you guys with a few days to um, think over uh, how you're going to handle this situation. The clown's got to blow it up. 
Like there's no, it's just like when you have a spider in the house, it's just there's a clown in the house, just let it go. So let it go and, you know, pull the fire. So I, 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 I'm going to have to ask Zara if she happened to pull out the, the business card that she had slipped to her so that way I could possibly call the guy uh, on my agent and see if he can reach the maelstroms to bring them to this location. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we might need some serious backup. <laughs> no. And Calvary can also call uh, in for police backup. That is your role ability. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm. <laughs> You're trying th to. Th avoid that is. I get it. I'm trying to avoid that. Yes. <laughs> Maybe don't bring the cops into an illegal operation. <laughs> Just a thought. I just yeah, you know, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> uh, hey, um, about that, I I get that uh, the players don't want to overuse the backup ability, and I don't. It even says in the ability description that overusing it can be too bad, but you have not been overusing it. Right. Uh, so I'm go. So I'm going to be purposefully lenient with that. And, yeah, uh, no, in this case, yeah. knowing that we're kind of uh, covert and I don't want them to know that I'm myself uh, a cop because that could just turn the, the gangs on us quicker than uh, a, a monkey with a new toy, so... <laughs> Yeah, you're, hey. you're moonlighting with us criminals. <laughs> by, by the way, is he still on it's fire? Used her combat awareness uh, role ability. She hasn't had to yet. She's definitely going to have to use it. Me? Uh, or Jinx? Session. Or who? Oh, yeah. Zara. Right. Zara has never used her combat awareness ability. By the way, is Calvary still on fire? <laughs> no, he he declared that he put himself out. I don't <laughs> even see that. Uh, that is your role ability as a solo. It's it's kind of like called, your special your special. Uh, uh, it's called combat awareness. I um, bet I roll a one. It only allows. Yep. Yeah, it you get to decide <laughs> yeah. when you're in combat how you want to yep. use it. If you want. He doesn't even argue it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm done. I'm done for the night. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, Thanks guys. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank I you. I want to thank uh, Umbrella Chicken, Alias, Misdirection, myself for all subscribing tonight. Um, thank you to everybody who tuned in to our first affiliate stream. That's amazing. I love seeing that number there. Um, yeah, uh, we appreciate you all, and we will be back in two weeks. And hopefully I don't get stuck in a vampire butt or something. All right. <laughs> it's been Kirk. Jason. Allison, I don't know what order we go in. <laughs> there is no order, just <laughs> Shannon or Ms. Direction. And our GM? Cyberpunk. God. <laughs> We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Good night, everybody. See you guys. Good night. Next time. Bye. <laughs>